VT, GT, one source, one commitment. Provide the most reliable transformer that's shipped and installed in a timely and flawless manner to the site and monitored and serviced to last for more than 60 years. That's our value proposition. A reliable transformer requires a robust design and its flawless execution. A truly reliable transformer, when monitored and serviced properly, we believe should last for more than 60 years. We have already covered robust engineering design before, and we'll talk about continuous monitoring later. But in this presentation, we want to focus on flawless execution of a robust design. Flawless Execution Our flawless execution pyramid consists of four cells. At the core lies people. People, supported by modern equipment and factory, a proven process, and flawless shipping and installation. Let's start with people. As mentioned before, the core of flawless execution pyramid is people. We have three pies in our people chart. Trained certified technicians, professional overseeing of these technicians, a team and a plan that ensures that tools and materials are in place in a timely manner. Trained technicians are essential, and remember, their training has to be continuous, up to date. But even more important is their guidance. This is what we call overseeing. Experienced supervisors are continuously analyzing the finished work, the tasks in process from all angles to make sure that everything makes sense, everything fits together. And without tools and materials, nothing is going to move forward. A team within VTCGT is dedicated to ensure that process doesn't stop on account of tools and materials not showing up on time. Another important part of the flawless execution pyramid is state-of-the-art equipment and factory. Let me start inside out from the equipment to the factory. We're going to talk about some of the investments we have made in the technology, not only to improve our efficiency, but more important, to minimize errors and increase the reliability. These major investments in technology is another indication of our commitment to transformer reliability. So we're going to talk about automated core stacking machines, winding machines, winding mushrooms, and more. Core, transformer core. Core is that part of the transformer where magnetic field oscillates. Core material is high-grade super-oriented steel with a small percentage of silicone. All this is to make sure that the energy losses that result in heat are minimized. The core steel is rolled into thin sheets, say 20 gauge, and each side is coated with insulating material. The purpose of these thin sheets is to further minimize losses. For power transformers, these sheets are stacked together with mitered joints. 
by varying the width of steel laminations in the leg of mitered core, a circular cross-section can be approximated. Up to say 20 or more steps of varying width are used to produce nearly perfect circular cross-section. The process involves core cutting and stacking equipment to construct core frame. Automatic core cutting machines have become standard now for power transformer cores. It's the stacking of core, stacking of core that requires extra care and precision. A few things to worry about. Gap at the step lap needs to be small, under two millimeters. Control of bursts. Thin steel threads that break loose in oil and create partial discharge later. Control of square and perpendicularity of magnetic circuit. These are some of the few ones we're naming. And as you can see, manual stacking, a common practice in the industry, is cumbersome, time consuming, and prone to errors. We use state of the art Astronix core cutting assembly unit. Astronix automated core cutting equipment allows precise cutting of single and multi-leg transformer core. Integrated with the core cutter is an automated e-stacker. E-stacker that stacks the core steel in final position as it is cut. As it is cut. That practically eliminates human errors. Lower losses. Obviously this is a major investment. This e-stacker is a major investment, but then the big payoff is in form of higher reliability, lower losses, and of course higher efficiency. Here is another view of robotic, Astronix robotic uh, core assembly or stacking. Let's talk about windings. In a core type power transformers, the most common type of windings are continuous disks for high voltage and helical for low voltage. Let me explain how disk windings are wound just to give you an idea of the complexity. The turns are wound in sections or disks. The first turn is wrapped around a cylinder. The number of turns will be wound over this first turn, producing a disk section whose thickness is equal to turn width. The outside turn of this section is carried over to the next position, but now the turns proceed from outside to inside. To achieve this, the turns are first wound from inside out and the sections then turn over by hand without turning the coil lathe. This inside turn becomes the start of the next section and the process is repeated until the coil is finished. The complete coil finally consists of many disc sections wound from a continuous copper conductor without braze joints. Radial spacers and washers separate the discs. As you can see, extremely skilled and experienced winders are required for this process. And there is a lot of room for errors. At VTCGT, we have made significant investment in automating winding machines to eliminate human errors. For example, online computer, the one you see in the center, keeps track of number of turns. It keeps track of many other things. A robotic arm ensures the turns are aligned and tight. Tensions on the incoming copper conductors are calibrated automatically. All this and more ensures reliability and requires fewer technicians at a given winding station. Now, VTCGT has multiple horizontal and vertical winding machines. The one on the left you see is a horizontal winding machine. One on the extreme right is a vertical one that's used for larger size units. Now I want to talk about winding mushrooms, another technology investment. 
Coils need careful handling through the drying, pressing, and sizing operations. All coils are dried and oil sprayed using VPD process under isostatic pressure. Isostatic compression stabilizes the axial height during drying process. Windings are kept compressed until nesting to avoid axial spring back. To make sure this process is flawless, we use a homegrown high-tech device, winding mushroom. The mushroom ensures that isostatic compression is uniform and continuous throughout the VPD process. This process is crucial in meeting the design parameters for short circuit. We all know the benefits of VPD, vapor phase drawing. Reduced process time, prevention of oxidation during drying, uniform heating, high quality of drying. The goal is to bring moisture content of the insulation to less than, say, 0.5%. Now, GT alone has three independent VPD ovens. Each oven is PLC operated to allow for precise temperature, vacuum, and time control. Now, if a transformer is too large for VPD, even then, we still have capacity to dry even the largest unit utilizing the hot oil spray method, HOS method. In this method, transformer is placed under vacuum and sprayed with heated transformer oil to drive the moisture away. HOS is continued until the desired moisture levels are achieved. As you know, each power transformer is custom designed. Now, with our design philosophy, we do not want any sharp edges on our structures, wooden structures, or insulating parts. And that requires customizing because we can't use just standard products. How do we customize? Well, Axis 5 mill is our tool. It's used to manufacture internal wood support structures and insulation components. This machine is computer controlled for accuracy and is able to manufacture directly from AutoCAD, Inventor, and MasterCam three-dimensional drawings. We also have a three-axis milling machine for other insulation components. GT has 37 independent cranes ranging in capacity from 8 to 80 metric tons. This covers the entire range of large power units. In addition, GT uses air cushion system, Delu air cushion system, that allows for movement of transformers to designated process areas without lifting the transformers. This is totally digital test lab, state-of-the-art digital test lab. You really need to benchmark this lab against some conventional test labs to really appreciate this one. Now, this is not just a pretty looking lab, but being fully digital takes all the guesswork out of impulse voltage distribution analysis for tracking failure points, Calibration is precise, so there are no overheads or underheads. And it has many, many analytic tools to analyze in case failure occurs at a given point in transformer. In large power transformers, best possible environment for manufacturing process is required. 
or more like it's a must. Contaminants, moisture, dust, variations in ambient temperatures, humidity can make an established process unpredictable. At GT, the entire 250,000 square feet of our facility is temperature and humidity controlled. The facility is kept at 72 degrees Fahrenheit and 40% humidity all year round. The facility is maintained at slightly positive internal pressure to keep contaminants away. A decongested and spacious facility is obviously less prone to accidents or material mix-ups. At VTCGT, it's our standard practice to have a dual source for any critical process. Now, we will get into the next cell of pyramid, process control. Process control at GT is a very highly developed process, improved over past 40 years. We're going to give you only a high-level view at this time. Now, there are many, many processes with checks and balances at GT. We have boiled them down to 11 major hold points, HP, where the process will not move forward without approvals. And then there are two major control points where team leader will analyze, review the finished work from different angles to make sure everything makes sense and we're on the right track. A traveling binder will document all of the inspection work for any kind of root cause analysis for later use. Here is a flow chart of all the steps, but let me simplify this for better understanding. I'm going to give you a mini plant tour to show you all of the holding points. Incoming material, cable wrapping, then comes windings and the core constructions. And the first control point is face assembly. Now comes the most crucial step, phase mounting on core. The main guts of the transformers are ready now. This is the most important control point. After working on internal connections, cleats and leads, and performing preliminary test, assembly goes into vapor phase, and then comes tanking. Getting closer now, external assembly where accessories are installed, mounted, and then bang, testing. Prep to ship, transportation, and installation. And all you do then is push the breaker button to successfully energize your transformer. The last cell of the flawless execution pyramid is flawless shipping and installation. We use a three-prong approach for flawless shipping. Getting transformers ready to be shipped to the given destination. Our shipping expert actually visualizes the journey of this unit through various highways and bridges, the shipping preparation and packing is well-organized and robust and well-secured. 
The unit is monitored through GPS by the shipping team through its entire journey. Also, our shipping team greets the transformer upon arrival, making sure all the parts are accounted for and instructions are in place. A customer had no difficulty in installing a spare that was sitting there in their yard for many years. Why? Because the well-documented instructions that were in place. That's why. Flawless installation requires an experienced team that knows the unit in and out. VTC GT has its own service and installation crew with oil rigs and other test equipment. I want to really thank you for your time and listening to this presentation. We're looking forward to work with you. Thanks again.